And well, thank you so much for taking some time for me today. It's just an absolute pleasure to get to visit with you and talk about your new film. And uh, I'm pumped for audiences to get to see it. So Vera, just let's just kick things off. And I, I always like to find out a little bit about how the actor finds the role and, you know, vice versa. So, so what led you to this project? How did you get involved? Um, I actually got involved at the very beginning of the um, making of this, developing of this film, rather. Um, I was a, a part of developing the story with Clara, who's my producing partner, and um, and Ruby Castor, who's the, the writer of the screenplay. And so we all sat around my kitchen table during COVID, sort of peak pandemic uh, yeah. lockdown. And we decided to uh, work on something together. And what that was, we didn't really know. And it sort of started to reveal itself as we were having these different conversations about, you know, what can actors slash writers do during a pandemic? What is the future going to look like? We didn't know. Um, but Clara had always known that she really wanted to do something with her dad, obviously. and and. Her dad, Ewan, felt the same way. And so we were able to um, get him er interested early on. And uh, we sort of went from there and started working on the story together. And at some point, we wrote my character. And I didn't necessarily think I would play it. I was interested because I thought it was a wonderful, rich, and uh, dynamic character. Um, but then sort of along the way, it became clear that that one was going to be me. So yeah. that's sort of how I got the role. <laughs> awesome. I didn't audition for it, which right. was very lucky because, you know, well, it doesn't happen a lot for me. Well, with, with the, you know, obviously with you being involved so early on, so what, what sort of end point, in, sorry, input did you have into the creation of the character and, you know, what you kind of wanted to see this character be? Yeah, I mean, we we the three of us, Clara, Ruby, and I, we we spent many days, like I said, around my kitchen table, sort of mapping out this whole story and 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 who these different characters are and and who we felt were important to see and and what emotional journey they needed to go through and all of that. So it was that was a very heavy involvement in that way. Um, and then thankfully we had someone to to turn it into a uh, decent uh, screenplay and dialogue and all of that. That's not necessarily at the time wasn't my strong suit. Um, and then as producers, you know, Clara and I produced the film together with, along with uh, uh, a few other uh, wonderfully talented producers. We sort of then uh, started thinking out uh, about how to build it out in terms of a team and who to add and um, we added Killer Films, which we were very lucky uh, to do and, and to have worked with them was a wonderful gift, especially as first time producers for Clara and I. We learned an incredible amount from them um, and then sort of started adding more and more building blocks along the way. You know, we we uh, added Emma at one point, Emma Westenberg, the director, and kept building and, and until we were on set. And then even after, obviously, because it was... Um, I think three plus, uh, yeah, three, maybe four years now of, of working on this. Yeah. So a long time. Yeah. No, that's awesome. That's awesome. And so obviously I, I'm assuming you knew you and know, before, before the filming and, you know, since you've already, you've been interacting with their family. So obviously as I'm watching the film and I'm seeing your guys's introduction and <clears throat> as you come around the corner and, and you see him for the first time, the the inner geek in me just wanted you to point at and go, yo, Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so so I, I do have to ask, what what was it like for you to to not only be working with the uh, the father of a friend, but also yeah. to be working, you know, with such a legendary actor as yeah. Mr. McGregor. Well, I was lucky. I'm a huge fan of Ewan's work, obviously, and I think he truly is one of the um, best actors of his generation. And and so I felt very privileged to be even in the same, you know, uh, room with him, um, working on this stuff together. But uh, yeah, like you said, I've, I've known you and for a long time and, and thankfully I, I wasn't new to knowing him at that point. So we known each other for years and, and had, you know, many, uh, great experiences already at that point. So it didn't feel like anything that, to be nervous about. In fact, it was sort of like, a, a like coming home type of thing. And he's such a wonderful actor not just performance wise but the way he interacts with other people in the scene and crew as well like 
he's always on. He never, um, when the camera's not him, it's not his coverage. He's still engaged. He's not like on his phone, like some other actors are when they're not, you know, having, they just have to say their lines. They're not really on, but he's committed to like making the experience um, worthwhile for everybody. And like, um, so yeah, it was a really special experience getting to work with him and also having already known him for such a long time and, and getting to work with him and, and most of all, seeing him work with Clara was really um, incredibly special. And, and I got to be there every day as a producer, obviously. So I got to see a lot of that. And that was, uh, yeah, I don't think it, it's, it's sort of a singular experience in that I don't think I'll ever get to experience something on that level again, where it's, people that I'm so close to and, and love and care for so much. And then like getting to be with them was just so much fun also, you know? Um, but yeah. I love it. I love it. I, I'm glad you had such an amazing experience with this film and, uh, yeah. you know, j just watching it, I, I just felt so connected to all these characters quickly. Like you, you just, you find bits of yourself within each of them, I think, and aspirations in each of them. Yeah. What was the most challenging thing for you on this film? <laughs> um I was um at the at the time of filming the movie I was in my first trimester of pregnancy which oh. I didn't necessarily plan on being in my you know early stages of pregnancy but I just was um and I so I felt sort of physically uh, not very good and you know all all of the woes of of that so that was a huge physical challenge um, it was cold. It was, you know, late night shoots. It was uh, feeling very ill. And so it was physically very challenging to be on set. Luckily, I, I got to uh, sort of hang out in uh, Clara's trailer a lot of the time. So I, I was comfortable. But it, yeah, it was it, I wish it was uh, a more sort of, a, you know, an, an honest experience in that like I could have just like been there for for all of it. Um, so that was a challenge uh, for sure, but but thankfully I had all these wonderful uh, producers to to step in and uh, to sort of shoulder a lot of the the, the weight of of actual day to day filmmaking, which I couldn't really be a part of all of the time. So that was really helpful. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I mean, that's that's insane that you had to experience <laughs> all that. But uh, yeah. thank you for for you know you know, taking it all on. That, that's just yeah. an amazing <laughs> amount to take on. I'm glad I did it because like, I, th there was so many points too, where I was like, fuck it, I'm going to go home. Like, I can't, like, this is not fun for anyone to have this miserable person. But you know, there's, there's good moments and bad moments. And I was there for both of those, you know, times. So it was, yeah, it was actually really rewarding. And to have those people be there for that was also really special. You know, Clara is one of my best friends and Emma, the director is one of my best friends. Um, obviously Ewan and my husband is in the movie, my mother-in-law is in the movie. So it felt like such a warm environment to people that all were very caring and understanding of, of the situation I was in. So that felt very nice. Yeah. No, that, that's beautiful. That, that's yeah. awesome to be here. Uh, Vera, I, I know that I'm running out of time with you here. So I, I definitely want people to know what you got coming up next, anything that they should be on the lookout for. What, what, can you tease anything, share anything? Yeah, I'll tease I'll tease this little something. Um, Clara and I have a production company together called Deux Dame Entertainment, two women in French. Um, and we're working on something French, um, which is funny because Clara is French. I'm from Holland, so we're sort of neighbors in that sense. Um, we're working on a adapting a book about a 17th century real life opera superstar and also swordswoman um, who uh, had a very colorful and crazy life and um we're turning her life story into a movie and uh we're in the sort of writing stages for that now but we're very excited and it's been it's been a while in the work so i i think that it will be something really special it's called goddess but uh we're a little ways ahead of, of that coming out but we're very excited about it so yeah that sounds awesome like yeah that thank you amazing. for asking about that i really love talking about this so yeah well, awesome. Well, uh, obviously, I, I want people to be able to stay up to date and follow you. Is there what's the best way for people to stay in contact with you? And I guess, you know, see. Yeah, Clara, we, we our, our production company, we have an Instagram. It's uh, the name of our company. So do dumb or do dames 
in American English, uh, Drew Dames Entertainment uh, on Instagram. And we post stuff on there um, a lot. So it'd be great if you gave us a follow and <laughs> keep updated with us that way. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I'll definitely include that. And uh, Vera, I, I got to tell you again, it's just such a pleasure and an honor to get to visit with you today. Thank you so much for for taking time. Yeah, thank me. you so much for taking the time. I appreciate it so much. Yeah, this has been amazing and an absolute treat. So thank you again. And hopefully we'll we'll get to visit together again soon. And uh, yeah, I'd love I to look forward to seeing uh, what's coming down the line for Goddess. So thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks so much, Timothy. Have a good one. Awesome. Thanks, Vera. Take care. Bye bye. Yeah.